If you are thinking about getting in the music business, and you folks are already in, but for some of you folks that are out on the outside just thinking about getting into it, right? Um, it's important to know what it is you're getting into. So I ask people all the time, I say, what do you think are the building blocks of the music business? And they all go blank, a little like Xandra is going right now, and say, well, what do you mean? If I ask you, what is the music business all about, what would you say, Xandra? The business is about selling. No, what are the core elements of it? The core elements. Processes are, there's publishing, there's touring. So you've been to school too long, okay? Probably. Let me tell you what the, the music business is. The music business in its simplest form, in this part, the millions of things have changed about the music business. This part hasn't changed one iota. It's about great songs, it's about great performers and great performances. Michael, would you agree with that? Sure. Okay. <laughs> That's what the music business is. And without those three things, you know, you don't have a music business, right? So those great songs, great performers, and great performances are the basis for a whole industry, right? The music business that's there to support, develop, and exploit in a good way those Great songs, great performances, and great performers, right? Um, it's record labels, it's managers, it's publishers, it's promoters, it's music technology companies that are trying to help you make music and promote it, right? Um, how you get started in this business is different depending on whether you're an artist or a professional, right? Uh, there's some common elements, but there's some, there's some things that are unique. Uh, if you're an artist breaking in, I'll tell you from my experience that the easiest thing to do is to start, right? You get an instrument, you go in your room, you record. Now, when you started, Michael, you had to go to a studio. There was no garage band. There was no Pro Tools where you could roll up a studio that George Martin uh, would have died to have. You know, George Martin made, you know, Sgt. Pepper's, what, eight tracks? What if he had 80? What if Mozart had Pro Tools, right? Think about it, right? So the level that you can do on your own to start making music has never been easier, right? Um, those decisions you make after you make the music a little bit trickier, right? Um, if you're an artist looking to break into the business and, and you take out making the music is not really breaking in, that's just kind of getting you in the starting gate, your ability to succeed, okay, if you're looking to do it for a business, as opposed to I make music for myself like you in your dark room and you're happy and you drink your coffee and you go, that was awesome. You're making that for you, right? But what happens when you want somebody else to hear it, Michael? Is it just about you then? No, you invite a whole bunch of characters into the mix and you will have to depend on all those other people to help your dream come true, right? The artists, I've always kidded that, not kidded, you know, seriously, if this was the edge of the cliff, this carpet, which I'm not supposed to go beyond here, I'm gonna edge up there, was 10 toes over the edge and the wind was blowing at your back, that's the artist. They're the tip of the sword. Now the manager might be right behind him and I can feel the wind, but if this guy's going over, I can always push back and fall on the ground, right? So the artists are the ones on the edge. Professionals breaking into the business, different kind of mindset. They are all about calculation. Those are the planners. Those are the people, I'm going to make something happen. If you're a professional, whether you're a marketing person, music tech person, manager, agent, record company, your job is to help turn those songs and performances into money. Okay, Nobody, no artist likes to talk about money, but they still have to pay their rent, right, Michael? Do you get an exclusion because you're a musician? Did, does your landlord go, oh, I love that song, screw the rent? No, you gotta play ball, right? Um, if you're a, mus a professional, your job is about getting your, your, your thing is about getting a job to go work from somebody, or it's to get a client if you're a manager, or if you're crazy, you go start your own business because you couldn't get a client, you couldn't get a job. That was me, okay? Um, it's about learning what it takes to succeed in the marketplace. So the managers, the professionals have to be in a different mindset. They have to be more practical. They have to look for answers where artists might just look for inspiration. Um, 
I want to talk about that whole notion of uh, this artist and the professionals, because in the music business, okay, the artist can exist on his own at the outset until he wants somebody to hear it. Uh, you could be a professional like me who wants to be a manager, but you can't be a manager unless you have a client. So these artists and professionals, even though they're coming from slightly different places, have some common ground. Um, and that common ground is they're looking for some destination. They want to do something big. I want to play stadiums. I want to do something that requires it. So they sit, if you will. If we were going to draw a picture, right? And here's the artist and the pro over here, right? Here's your artist. Here's your pro, right? And they're sitting on the beach over here thinking about, all right, we want to do something here. And so they get some destination in their mind, and that destination is right over here. You know, that's somewhere we'll call it, right? The way they get there, the artist is going to provide the inspiration, right? That's what it comes from. That comes from somewhere that we don't know. You can't calculate, you can't plan it, you can't PowerPoint that inspiration, right? The professional here might have moments of inspiration, but they're of a different type, okay? Their game is calculation, right? So with that inspiration and calculation locked on a destination, that's what they're looking for. You know how they get there? Determination, dedication, because shit's going to go wrong. Sorry. Um, things go wrong. So that's where this connection gets made. That's where artists and professionals share common ground, right? Because both of them have to have this determination, this unrelenting desire to do something great that, that has them overlook all the things that would talk them right the hell out of it. Does that make sense? Questions for you folks? Questions from the chat room? I'll check in. Quiet bunch out there, folks. Okay, put your coffee down, get your pencil, and start learning something, okay? That's inspiration, dedication, calculation, and determination working together, right? Art is all about that inspiration. Artists, uh, rational thought rarely gets in the way, okay? Now, if you're a manager, that can be problematic. If you're an artist, you just go, hey, I'm an artist, right? I hated that artist exclusion. I'm an artist. I, I, I always used to tell the band, well, can I be an artist too? Like, what if I forgot to get the money? Can I be an artist? But they have an, they're a different breed of cat, you artists, okay? It's an emotional release. It's not a rational thought that they're going through here, right? They're creators. Artists have to do it, as we talked about. Business, all calculates. It's about picking a target. It's about getting a plan. It's about orchestrating things. It's about inspiring or prodding or motivating or, or, or just shoving people into doing stuff. There's nothing subtle about the business. Side of it. And that dedication is the bridge between the two. Um, something else to think about this notion of getting started. Getting started suggests a certain bit of finality. I got started, right? But the truth of the matter is getting started never stops. It's a never-ending process. It's unrelenting. So if you don't have stamina, you won't be able to deal with it, right? Um, all of us folks here are trying to figure out what to do for the rest of our lives, aren't we? And so am I. I've done something for years, 36 years, and now that chapter's over. And I'm sitting here today going, okay, what's the next chapter? So I'm, I got started, sent a, fixed on a destination, locked radar with my buddies, knocked it out. Then the, the, the tricky part was coming up with new destinations that we could agree on and how we were going to get there, right? Uh, but once you get started, you want to succeed. You want to move forward, right? That's the natural state of things. The first job leads to the next job, which might lead to another job, which leads to another job, which leads you to here, right? So this getting started notion is, is, is the, the, the reality of it is, is that it's never ending. The, the fairy tale version, I just want to get started. Well, you know, yes, you do.